What's up YouTube, it's one Pro Alex here and in this video I'm going to show you how to run your computer um, at the, this is on Windows Vista, I'm not sure if it works with uh, Mac OS X but we'll see um, but yeah, on, on your iPad now you need to download two things first I'm going to go into Safari and go to splashtop.com forward slash streamer and I'll put a link in the description oh, I spelt it wrong sorry but yeah that's it now I want to download version 1.6.0.1 that says, oh yeah, there is one for the Mac there, 1.6.0.0. So you download it at the bottom there, and the one for the Windows is at the top. You need Windows 7 on first or XP, and obviously the majority of people won't be older than XP. So once it's finished installing, you'll get to the Install Shield Wizard. You install it and all that. Then you download the same thing to the iPad, splash stop from the App Store. So I just typed in Flash Browser and um, it, it came up. Where did it come up? Oh, I'll type in Splash Top instead then because they're not coming up this time. There you go, Splash Top Remote Desktop. And there's a free version um, of this. It's. Um, you could get five minutes out of it though, otherwise it's two pounds ninety-nine. <laughs> right. Uh so once this is all done I'm gonna oh, for goodness sake, right. I'm gonna um launch it on here, splash shop streamer. And I'm signed in with my Google account. Um so but you can sign in um with your IP address or whatever you want. So I'm gonna go to it now. It's my PC, just wait a couple of seconds. Now it'll prompt you to put in the security code it created when you set up. I can do that. There we go, that's my security code. Connecting to your computer. My laptop's doing something. Now you can see iPad 2 3G is connected to the computer. And there you go. So if I move the mouse around on the laptop, it moves on here. Or I can do the same, I can use the iPad to control everything. So there's my start menu. However, you can see. That's how much processor usage I'm using. It's gone right up. But um, if your computer is running slow, it will warn you, and you can change the settings. But everything works. You got keyboard here, and you got the Windows key is Shift, Control, Alt, Escape, Tab, F1 to F12, up, down, right, left, and delete. So you can do Control, Alt, and delete. And you put here, all sound comes out of the iPad. So if I and it automatically mutes the computer, so I lock the computer and I'm still using the iPad. Sound came out of the iPad. Type in my password to get back in. All sound came out of the iPad. Now, this is mainly beneficial if. Um, Let's change the resolution. If that happens, the resolution changes. Just right click on your computer on a desktop. Go to graphics properties. Go to display settings and change it, the resolution to 1024 by 768. 
and it's come out to fit the iPad again. Now what's also great about this is I've got an external drive here, which I'm going to turn on. And also these don't work on the iPad, so this is a good way to stream them wirelessly connected to your USB 2.0 and then um, look at it through my computer on the iPad. So my hard drive is just starting to spin up now. And if I lift up the iPad, you see there's no wires doing this, it's all through Wi-Fi or whatever. Let's go to my computer. There it is. So I can browse my external hard drive wirelessly. And then, um, if I can find it, there you go, I can safely remove it. And you can click and drag, browse the web, and this is brilliant if you want a flash based web browser as well. So I'm going to scroll on the computer now. See, the iPad's not too far behind it's, and if I close it, it's only about a second what it was like there. But yeah, that's just a quick demo. Um, you can discover more with the tips that it gives you. Um, anyway, that's one super Alex with a review of Splash Top for the iPad. Thanks for watching.